Hi friends, welcome to the sixth class of Python programming tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learnt about slicing of a string. In this video, we will see about the lists concepts in Python programming languages. List concepts in Python is similar to the structure concepts in C programming. Structure can contain data of different data types. Similarly, lists in Python can contain a data of different data types. We will see with a examples those marks is the name of the list opening and closing the curl bucket indicates marks is a list data if you want to see the output of the list the list name followed by enter so the data is having only single data type that is integer so we check with string as well assigning a string value for the list for that we have to use the concatenate operator that is an addition operator followed by different data types that is string we are using now Output will be combination of two data types that is integer and string. But the thing is, the list, the original value of the list is remains unchanged. So to change the original value of the list, we have to use the inbuilt function that is append. Open the square, open the brass, and give the data which we need to append. And now display the value of the list. Now we got the new data which we have appended. In slicing part of the video, I have told in programming languages it will start with the zeroth index. So in the zeroth index, the value is 60, and in the first index, the value is 70. So if you want to display the value of the zeroth index that is 60 even we can take value between two index as well so we will check with zero and then colon Zeroth index to the third index, but the output will be value of zeroth index, first index, and second index. The starting point of the index it will display it will include, but the stopping point it will get excluded. So only the output will be from zero, zeroth index, first index, and second index. Third index it will exclude. So this is clear for reference. Now, if you type only marks and give the starting index position, then followed by colon, and then close the square bracket, then it will display till end of the list. Similarly, for the starting point, if you don't give anything, the starting point it will by default start at the zeroth index and in the figure 3 from 0 to second index only it will eliminate the stopping point it will exclude the stopping point so an output will be from zeroth index first index and second index hope the video is clear for you friends the concept of less in python programming languages list can contain different data types thanks for watching